I have this feeling to say three, two, one when I feel like there's nothing to three, two, one. I just feel like I have to do it. Okay, so when we start, do you want us to be all like an introduction or because this yeah. is my first time? Yeah, I'll, I'll introduce you. Just, just wait. I oh, okay, a, perfect. I got a great, I got a great one for you. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so we start in three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Strangers Podcast. Exciting is exciting, isn't it? I guess it is. So today's episode, we have, you know, your host, Javi, as usual. And we also have here America with us. That's what right. <laughs> Yeah, she she's right there. You can hear her clearly. And we also, uh, so today we don't have Cynthia Val because they have something, some other plans. Uh, but we have another guest with us. So to introduce our special, not so special guest, Nadia. Oop, oop. We love it here. What up? What's poppin'? What's poppin', dude? It's been forever since we last talked. Actually, yeah. I school's been terrible, so I blame that. <laughs> I think yeah. that's right. Yep. It's like everyone's like <laughs> not excuse, but more like huh, sorry can't hang out, you know, school. Oh my gosh, it's literally prison, I tell you now. I don't have a social life because of school. And this semester I <laughs> I didn't I didn't think things through, so <laughs> Yeah, I mean, no one really thought of this trick because you're doing online classes, right? Most. Oh my gosh, yes, and it's so terrible. I'm taking eight classes this semester, so about like twenty you're something units. Eight classes? Yes, in two separate colleges, so I'm dual enrolling. Oh no, <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah, hence why I don't have a social life. <laughs> You know, school is supposed to be a sociable thing. I guess it's not at this year, honestly. We're all locked up. We don't really see any people. So, of course, this is not a good an option. I've made friends with uh, other personalities in my head. Oh. That's what this quarantine has done. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, they do that. They come on and around. Or like, what up, loser? And I'm just like, oh, what's up? <laughs> Whatever, teacher's pet. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, like uh, as usual, we got some topics we got prepared to talk about. Uh, but bef before we get into those topics, um, I just want to ask you guys, how was your day or your week or what's new? What's, you know, what's popping? What's, what's something you want to share with the, with the, with the viewers? Mm, I see you using what's popping. I like it. We love it. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I can say one thing what's popping right now. Give you a sec. It's time to get energized. Got me a Starbucks double, <laughs> double shot energy. So I definitely need to be awake for this. Oh man, you're gonna be awake, awake. Mhm. Mm I definitely need to be. That's a lot of mm. caffeine. Yeah, it is. I, my my whole blood system is basically caffeine. I cannot live without it. Otherwise, I faint. I can't live without it. Is what I'm saying. Or I, <laughs> I have an addiction. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> An addiction. It's a lifestyle. Uh, yeah. I and mean, addic addiction can be a lifestyle. Uh, oh, yeah, that's that's one way to look at it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you take it as it is. Positive, negative, whatever. It's it's your opinion. This is my life. It is what it is. It's what yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah, it, it is what it is. A desperation of energy consumed <laughs> in a can to kill me okay. when I'm older. Okay, but, like, is it just me or ever since quarantine started, like, you're, like, ten times more tired? Does anyone else feel that? Yeah, I would say so. I feel like it's more like I am too unmotivated to do anything. Like, I, I like I there's so much I can do, but I just don't do it. Yes, yes. 
I feel that. I know, and then I'm like, I have so much time, and I can do this, and I can never do it. Yeah, exactly. I make this and everything, and I'm like, yep, that. Nah. Yeah, I, I mean, we kind of mentioned this a little bit of, like, uh, at one point, I guess I learned how to play guitar, and like, I've always told myself, and I think Cynthia always reminds me about it, like, oh, it's like, you, you, we should learn how to play guitar, or like, she was going to learn about it, and... I was too, but like I never really pursued it, cause like I did Ooh. take a beginner, cause I took a beginner class in way back then in college, so I know the basics. I I know pretty much the 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 notes to play singularly, but I don't. I haven't right. really advanced to the intermediate class, so I don't know oh. too much about chords or how to play it or to strum, but I do know how to a pl- little bit play, but not a lot. Little. Mm-hmm. That's actually pretty cool. I tried playing guitar a while back, and that's not for me. My fingers are too sensitive. Yeah, th- that's the thing. It's like, well, since we're talking about it, like, yeah, guitar, like, your fingers are going to hurt so bad. Because, like, yeah, I have, like, really, like, soft skin fingers. Like, my hands are soft. And, and yeah, people who play guitar, their fingertips are, like, th- they're just hard. They're hardened. You c- they don't feel anything. And it's because they put so much pressure on their fingers and you you have to do a lot of pressure. And we had to do a lot of like practices like that of like playing all those brackets, <laughs> each finger and each time we're strumming, like, so like, ding, 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 ding. And you have to go all the way back up. I, in some way, it was very brutal, but it was kind of fun at the same time. But I, I remember those times, I, I feel like I had like arthritis or something. My hands would be in so much pain. I'm deceased. And I'm just like... <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on. We're on the fourth street. Two more streets ago. We're almost done. It was brutal. But yeah. in your head, you're just like, no pain, no game. Yeah, no pain, no game. Well, that's cool. I mean, I feel like if you enjoy it, oh, it's fine. I just, it was fun and all, but I just get really bad bruises on my fingers, and my career is based on my hands. So I'm just like, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, unless, I don't know, you could segue into a story about it. So, oh, you see my fingers. Well, funny story. Uh, <laughs> I was in guitar boot camp, and yeah, I quit on day on the first week because I could not feel my fingers anymore. And you know, I need my fingers. <laughs> mm-hmm. So here I am. I need my fingers to appoint judgment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No judgment here. <laughs> no judgment here. Well, <laughs> but I'm scared. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 yeah. I mean, it wasn't that <laughs> bad. Like it's. It, I mean, my teacher wasn't. He wasn't really like, like tough on us. He was pretty chill, but you know, he wanted us to take it seriously. Of course. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to go too much, too much on about this, but I, I will say that, like. There was, like, one student there, and he was, like, more of, like, middle-aged guy that, you know, he was kind of slow, and he, he, you know, he was trying to catch up, but, you know, you know, he tried his best of just following along, and I think we would be, like, get over one strum or, like, learn how to play one strum or something, and then he'll he'll still be stuck on it, and he'll be like, so, so, so what was the previous strum? And then the guy's like, buddy. We already been through this. We we gotta keep going. You can't be holding up everybody else. And it's just like, yeah, it's like he was taking it seriously. And yeah, I don't know. Just a little memories I'm remembering about that. So I'm like, okay. yeah. See, that's a struggle too. Like, if yeah. I'm such a like, you know, if you're still a learner, it's hard to learn in a group because if everyone's ready and you're not, it's like, well, too bad for you, buddy. We're moving on. Yeah, exactly. It's like we're gonna have to move on without you. It's like, oof. Okay. I'll be in a corner crying, just like, <laughs> I couldn't make it. <laughs> but I do want to update on something that happened to me previously during my week. So, on Thursday, I was pretty much just chilling, you know, just doing my thing on my computer. And then I had my headphones in, and then I had those Bluetooth ones. They're kind of like AirPods, but they're not. There are Raycons. I don't know if you guys heard of those. Like I, you probably heard of them on like YouTube everywhere or sponsorships. Yeah, and yeah. Was like, yeah, and they're they work really well. They're pretty like noise, very noise canceling. Like I can 
not hear anything, and I pretty much was enjoying them. So one day, I just set them aside and just decided, okay, I'm just going to leave it here. I don't know, somewhere in my bed or something like that. And I went to go out jog on my treadmill for like an hour. And then I come back, and then I realize, uh, or I was going to do something on the computer again, and then I realized, like, oh, wait, where I put my headphones at? And you're just not the kind of person who leaves one thing somewhere, and then I forget it where it was. And I'm like, okay, retrace my steps. Where could it be? Where could it be? And I, and I was, and I, I pretty much was looking for almost maybe, maybe like 30 minutes looking for my headphones. Like, I cannot find them anywhere. Until I realized, I forgot. I have a little puppy who tends to grab things and... You know, she just likes to hide away and just does whatever with it. And I had a fear, like, I have to make sure it's under my parents' bed. Because usually she brings something in, like a water bottle or something, and just drag it, takes it with her under the bed. And so I went to go check. I had, like, a little, little magnet thing. So I could, so I just extend it, grab, like, pull it in. And when I, when I pulled it out, I found my headphones completely destroyed <laughs> and just oh, ruined God. like the whole thing is open and i'm just like i want to cry <laughs> i was so <laughs> mad at her i was like i cannot leave her alone for one like second and she goes to my room and grabs something i'm like no but she knows how to open the door and you just left the door open I don't know. Well, the problem is my door doesn't have a lock, so I literally have to shut it real tight in order for no one mm -hmm. to get, or like, you know, to have nothing come in. But she's a pretty strong puppy, honestly. Like, mm -hmm. she can run up to my door and just boosh, boosh, push it open. And oh. I think, and it sounds like an intruder just broke into my house. Like, someone kicked down the door. <laughs> but no, it's just her. And I know it's her because I'm, I'm like sleeping, and then she jumps on my bed. It's like, oh, it's her. And she just wants to play at 12 in the morning. That's great. Yeah. I She's like, that. I own this place. You must listen to me. It's like, I'm hyper. Pay attention to me. I need attention. I'm like, no, it's late. Go to bed. Stop messing with me. But no, yeah, I was I was so pissed that she did that. And I'm like, I cannot believe she did this. And I honestly it's like this is the first kind of dog I've ever had where they just want to play and they just grab things and stuff. Like the dogs I've usually had in the past. They're very calm. They don't do anything. They mind their they mind their own business. Sure, they bark at people, but that's it. But nope, she is a whole different case, and I'm not ready to take care of this little monster. <laughs> yep, I got the consequence of it. So yeah, but luckily I was able to get like some kind of return thing. So maybe I'll get some new ones as long. I don't know. Have to wait and see. But in the end, I'm still sad inside and like I cannot believe. I'm so I'm like no more earbuds yeah, for what no I mean for luckily what? I still have some extra ones in, in case so luckily <laughs> I'm happy like there's something I could still use but even then even just today I went to go Walgreens because I want to go pick up you know my coffee because I want some energy and some couple little things and like I shut the door I leave I come home and I find these headphones that I have on the couch almost were completely almost destroyed there there's little bites on it right now and i can't believe i'm wearing them it's so gross but i was just like no this cannot happen again don't break these ones you cannot take this away from me uh yeah you see funny thing i have a funny story about earbuds uh -huh. so i i had um my old earbuds i had them for like about two years and they busted Funny enough, a little bit before quarantine started. So the other day, I haven't had earbuds since. So it's been, what, like almost half a year now since quarantine? Seven months now. Yeah, so like about half a year. <laughs> six months? Six, seven How months? How are you this normal? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Would, no human person can live without headphones. I know I can't. <laughs> I just can't. I I'm just like, wait, that's so true. Why, how am I How am I functioning? But at the same time, I'm like, I probably am functioning because I don't really go outside unless I have to buy food. Hmm. Yeah. Like that. Like, then, then I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I still be playing my jams, you know, my tunes. Oh, man, I sound like an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Just... But anyways. <laughs> So the other day I was just all like, I woke up and I was freaking out and I was like, oh my gosh, where are my earbuds? I was like, who has my earbuds? And I'm over here like freaking out. And then I sit down and I'm just like, wait, Nadia, you broke your earbuds about six, seven months ago. You haven't had earbuds for a while. And I'm just there like, oh my gosh, I don't have earbuds. <laughs> That's funny. You're just like, like slowly remembering. It's like that. One, remember that? I don't know if you guys remember that one TikTok trend. Where like that guy would, would like two like two people be talking and then one of them was like you have to let us go and then the guy is just like what it's like we've been dead for three months ago it's not your fault it was a car accident like oh, just reliving a oh. wait that, I that think was I an old that trend one. but I remember that one it the way you describe your story now it just made me thought of that <laughs> it's just like you're just reenacting headphones and you're just like <laughs> it's like Nadia we've been gone for three months. You had no music. <laughs> You're going insane. Exactly. And then I actually had a moment too. And it's just like, and also, you're speaking to yourself. I am not real. I'm a figment of your imagination. And I was just sitting there like, man, I'm really here sitting, talking to myself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who doesn't, honestly? That's normal now. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Your your mom, like, sees you walk, like, she sees you through the door. You're talking to yourself. She's like, like, yeah, it's quarantine. It makes sense. Oh, my They're mom gonna... used to tell like, stop talking to yourself. You shouldn't talk to yourself because one of these days, something or somebody's going to respond to you and nobody's going to be around you. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> it's okay. It's just going to be Casper, okay? It's not It's not that bad. <laughs> I thank you. Like, 10 years old, scared, like, about to pee myself. She's like, somebody's going to be around you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but that's the, the point, couch. mom. I need someone to <laughs> respond to me when I'm talking. That's how a conversation works, and it's not working when no one says anything. <laughs> so, just like now, I'm just like, as long as they give me an answer, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> a what? sign. Junk like, oh, what? It's like, no. validate my thoughts, okay? Validate my thoughts. I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alone. <laughs> I am lonely. Please. <laughs> Who you see no in this fun. house way before that I did. Please respond. Talk to me. Please respond. Rise from the grave. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Please don't rise from the grave. We don't want no zombies. <laughs> you realize you have no friends, so they have to rise from the grave. <laughs> <laughs> they have to come back to life. Let's move on to our topics now. So... I know I gave you guys like a little bit of an idea of what our topic's gonna be, but uh, yeah, let's just get into them and see how you guys respond. Okay, do you guys believe, or like, is this like true or false? When when you make someone listen to a good song, it only ruins their experience, and it's always worse than when they listen to the song on their own. Do you guys believe that's true? Mm, no, I don't think that's true. I feel like no. the the experience should be like ten times better because if you're vibing to it, you know, and it's just like, yo, look, listen to this. This is the vibe, and then they start to vibe to it. Now you both can vibe to it, and you're just like vibing together. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. You, you don't know? No. What? Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I feel like, yeah, because, like, some people would say, no, I know, that sounded weird. It's like, oh, okay. Anyways, <laughs> I just want to make sure, like, you had more to say on it, but you're like, no, that's not weird. <laughs> I, I mean, like, I, I mean, like, I guess it depends on the person, you know? Yeah, that's true. Because, like, mm. I've seen that some people respond to this, like, they kind of feel like it's kind of, like, you're being forced to listen to it. When no one clearly acts, and somehow they kind of feel uncomfortable about it, and someone say it's more awkward mm -hmm. when they have to give their opinion on the song. Like you know, when someone's like, "Oh, what did you think of the song? Did you like it?" and they have to be like, "Like they have really have no opinion," so they're just like, "It was okay." You only say that just because you don't want to hurt your feelings. Imagine mm -hmm. like you like I don't know if you guys are experienced where like you share socks like, "What did you guys think?" Is like that was hard garbage, dude. Like you listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See. Okay. Now that I feel okay, yeah, that okay, that situation here. How do I want to word it? See, I like, 
I like to share the things that make me happy with other people. Like, you know, I want to spread that happiness. And it doesn't mean just because, like, you know, I listen to this type of music and it, I enjoy it. It doesn't mean that you have to enjoy it, too. But I feel like there should be, like, respectful feedback, you know? Yeah. Does, okay, if you don't like it, it's like, oh, you know, it's just not my thing or, you know, it's not my thought. But it's like to go up and, like, it's trash and you're trash. It's like, okay, wait, that's kind of mean. Like, hello? You don't have to like it. I just, I was just sharing. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, I think, I don't know, for me, it's like I would definitely ask, like, well, uh, well, no, not really. I would just play the song if they asked me, like, oh, like, what song do you want me to play on the car or something? And then I guess I would just be like, yeah, this song. But, like, I wouldn't ask for their opinion on it. I'm just like, this is a song I like. Okay, there you go. I don't care if you like it. I don't know. <laughs> Deceased. I'm more of a curious person. So I, I would ask. I'd be like, so what do you think? Like, I'm just genuinely curious. And then for me, I think for me, it helps me to see what would be some of the things, some of the music they like. And so therefore, whenever I'm with a certain person, I can like put music related to what they enjoy, you know, yeah. so we can just vibe and enjoy the time together. The taste and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I to be honest, oh. I don't care. <laughs> if they like the song, I'm just showing it. Like, honestly, I won't tell people about stuff like I like or whatever unless they ask. Say, oh, what type of music do you listen to? Or what type of music do you like? Or what are you listening now, right? Like, at the moment, what like last week when you were telling us who's your favorite character or favorite actor or something like that, I think. Oh, that's um, crush. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I at the moment. <laughs> yeah. I said at the moment, so it's something that I would be like, okay, at the moment I'm listening to this, but unless somebody's asking me, con Javi Nadia. <laughs> That's I know it. She's probably like, are you talking to yourself again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she knows I'm talking to somebody. And she's like, who are you talking to? Why are you talking to somebody? <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought she was just all like, America, stop talking to yourself. <laughs> she wrote, oh, she's done that to me. She's like, why are you talking to yourself? Don't talk to yourself. It's scary. Wait, I'm on the phone. It's called the headphones. <laughs> There's a mic here. What do you think the... Do Get out of here! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, so frustrated. What, what were you saying? Oh, yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah, what were you trying to... Yeah, finish what you were saying. That was a Oh, so... Let's see, unless people ask me about the music, I won't share what I'm into. Like, if you ask me, oh, what's your favorite song? I'll be like, um, from what artist? Spanish music? <laughs> you want mm. English? Korean? Do you want Japanese? <laughs> like, yeah. like, no. Like, I'll tell you, right? Unless, like, if you have to ask me. But if we're just going around, I'll be like, but whatever. Because I did literally listen to everything. Mm -hmm. But I want people music. Like, I think it was this morning or yesterday, I posted on Instagram um, a song from um, Tim Brown. And he's a country singer. A lot of people don't like country. Yeah. They, they don't for, they don't care for it and I do I do it so like I'm not gonna tell you listen to this song it's country unless, knowing you're not really like curious it, right? right right unless like one you like that artist two you like that type of music or three you ask me what type of country music would you like because I'm not gonna put them in that position <laughs> I'd rather put it up on in my Instagram if you like it Okay, it's look right it up. You don't know. It's right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so question, question. I have a okay. question. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So do you guys think it's, hmm, I wouldn't want to say rude, but for lack of a better word, word, would you think it's rude to just go up to, like, someone be like, hey, yo, what, what music do you like? Do you think it's putting them in a position, in a weird position? Well, I think later on there is a question that I want to get into about that, but I would say for now, like, yeah, because like I think there's some people that I don't know. For me personally, it's like I wouldn't know what is my favorite song because, like, for me, I do constantly listen to a lot of the music, a lot of music. I tend to like search new ones, something, 
you know, to freshen up my playlist or increase, you know, my not I, I wouldn't say knowledge of my music, but I guess so to increase my <laughs> library. So to say like, what is my favorite, like one sp- particularly I listen to, it's kind of hard because I'm always changing it because like one song I listen to for a very long time and then I find a new one is like, okay, I'm going to listen to that one on repeat. So I think a better mm-hmm. way of like saying it instead of saying what what is your favorite, I think a better way of asking is what are some of your favorites? Because obviously probably have more than one favorite song or probably have one that, that's been on their mind. Yeah, because you know what I like when they ask is that what's on your on uh, what are you replaying right now what are you what is cute what are you um like listening listening to right now because like i don't like when people tell me or ask me what's your favorite song what's your favorite music and i'm like um depends are you talking about cake words are you talking about latin are you talking about indian are you talking about english yeah depends <laughs> Yeah, because there's right? just so many genres nowadays, and it's like, like not everyone listens to the same kind of genre. Like you can, like there, I know there's some people that I know that sticks to just one they particularly like, or just maybe yeah. one or two. And I know, like from now, I can tell that you know, Medica, from the way you say it, like you, you are pretty much ex, you're more open to any kind of music, and I'm the same way too. Like I listen to any kind of song. Or like any kind of genre. Well, maybe not, not maybe not too much of country, but I pretty much listen to every kind of genre, whatever that I feel like. Yeah, this one slaps. You know, I'll stick to this one. Oh, slaps. <laughs> yeah, this one got a nice beat. Oh, that, oh yeah. I feel like I feel like punching somebody. <laughs> I'm deceased. <laughs> I feel like I want to get a oh. fight. <laughs> That's the energy right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look for a song that gives you hype to punch someone in the face. Trust me, you'll feel much better. Yes, that's very, very, very true. But just don't do the action. I'm like, you, you... <laughs> don't do it in real life, of course. Like, think of it like you're in a music video, all right? That you punch it's somebody. Music video, deceased. <laughs> don't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> you know, also speaking about this, like, okay, so I know, like, when it comes to sharing, it's kind of like difficult because there's so many genres. But what if somebody, like, say if you're in a car, right, and you're going, you know, who knows somewhere, probably a long trip, and so I was like, yo, I'm going to break out the ox cord. Who wants who wants to play the first song? Do you guys take the initiative or just wait till somebody else chooses a song they want to listen to? Or, like, is there a song I, that you know, like, okay, I got something that everyone wants to listen to right now? I think it depends what group of people I'm with. Mm. I mean, like, if it's someone, like, I'm comfortable, like, a group I'm like really comfortable with I'm just like all right this one slaps I'm gonna put it on I don't care if you don't like it we're gonna listen to it because I love it you know but like if it's like another group of people that I'm like still don't know what their likes and dislikes are well then um or like their personalities and stuff and I'd be like then I'll wait and be like oh like what type of music do you want to listen to like what it's one right now that you really feel like you want to vibe to. Do you want to like, you know, sad boy hours open? Do you want that type of music? <laughs> you want some upbeat party all night long? So I'm like, yeah, let's go punch somebody in the face. Or like, you know, what type of music are you feeling right now? What's the vibe? And then depending what the the vibe they tell me, then I'm like, all right, here are my recommendations. You know, let's see if you vibe too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that seems very reasonable. Because I, I feel the same way too. Like. Cause like I I wouldn't say like yes immediately I would ha- I would have to take time to figure out what song can I play, cause like another thing too is like I have to really consider, or like look at my list, is that I don't have a song that doesn't say anything like that that is explicit, like mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys listen to a lot of explicit songs as well. Mm-hmm. Every now and then, yeah. <laughs> Every now and then, you know, when I'm in a bad mood, I hear some words, you know, some spicy words. <laughs> and like, are you trying to say like what type of music is explicit or just like any type of song yeah. that is because like I feel like for me the hardest thing is to find a song that's not explicit because like I feel like sometimes <laughs> I'm like with people but like there's also like there's a parent or an adult and I don't want to be playing a song that's going to say like a bad word <laughs> in it and they're just going to be like nope skip it because I think that happened one time where like I had a song like that 
and I thought they wouldn't mind it, but they're just like, oh no, change the song. I'm just like, oh, okay, sorry. Like I felt, so, I felt so guilty because it's just like, <laughs> oh, damn. And I was like, I yeah. was just scared of like, oh, I, uh, okay, they probably don't like me anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's like, please love me. <laughs> No, I was just like, oh, let's look, dude. It's just one word. I swear. That's no, the no. only word they said. <laughs> they don't say anything more. So, I, think, like, I used to work out with a couple of friends. And I stopped going just because like I got busy and stuff. But um recently I went to uh to work not to work out, but just like to hang out with them and they were working out. And we tend to put music that it's making us they make us music that makes us uh, motivated. Right? Like pump. And up. sometimes Yeah. And sometimes English or Spanish, whatever it is. Yeah. Um so you does have some things that you're like, Oh wow, okay. And we don't like we don't we're not listening to the lyrics, we're listening to the beats, right? The encouragement and stuff. There was a madam <laughs> that just recently started working out with us. And I was like, Oh hey, you got this, you you got this, right? And we were listening to this one song that it was a pretty, very loud rock song, and it was one of my favorite songs. Yeah. And um, now that like, once you get to know to a song or whatever, you don't even pay attention to what's that what it's saying, right? Mm-hmm. You just know. The- so I was just, like mumbling the words and stuff, and then <laughs> the singer says something, and she's like, "Oh!" And she sing- she looks at the person that has the music, and she's like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and he had to change the song and I didn't like I just saw her that but I didn't pay att- I wasn't even paying attention to what she was doing I just saw that she did uh uh-uh, uh right and then I'm like oh, what is she doing? right and then I hear the song's call- changed and I'm like what happened <laughs> it's like I was in my moment <laughs> yes I did I was in the moment <laughs> I was like doing my homework on my phone right <laughs> I'm like uh uh-uh. uh what happened? And my friend that is like, he has the music on. He's like, I just don't like bad, bad word songs. And, like, oh. and I'm just like, oh, okay. I'm like, when does she leave? <laughs> I'm just like, when does she leave? Because I put my music back on. <laughs> She's like, I don't mind her. I don't. Mine her. I just like I might I might mean, people messing with my music, you yeah, know? This is my favorite. How could you take this away from me? Why do you do that? <laughs> yeah. I feel like back then I didn't really have a stru- like a very good organized playlist yet cuz like I at the time I was still like I I barely was started using starting to use Spotify. So I was still listening to a ver- variety of songs whatever I liked and I noticed like most of my like songs were yeah, w- most of them were very explicit. But, like, they said explicit, but I know, like, deep down, it's like, it's only one curse word. But at the, at the same time, it's like, just because there's one curse word, I cannot use it. Because it's just going to be, like, you know, people go like, ooh, it's like, uh, skip. And I'm like, come on, man. Like, it's just one time. It's a really good song. It slaps. But just that one word messes up. And also, like, yeah. what was hard, too, is, like, I don't really have, like, a, like, a very happy vibe playlist at the time yet. Because, like... Honestly, like most of the songs back then I listened to was just mostly sad boy songs. So it's just like I have like no good vibes yet. So it's just like uh, I don't have anything to play. You're just going to be sad. <laughs> to it. And one of our friends out to your house and uh, it was just me and other uh, two other friends in the car. And this person, he was like, oh, what do you want to listen to? What do you like? And I'm like. In my head, I'm like, in that moment, like like you said, your playlist wasn't, like, happy, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. like, oh, anything's fine. And he's like, no, you, you can choose. And he gives me the phone. I'm like, I can't put any. In my head, I'm like, three days grace? No. Can I? No. Can I? No. No. <laughs> I'm like, everything, anything's fine. You can choose. He's like, no, it's okay. But I met Dennis. Freaking my head for like five minutes trying to find something that's not depressing or sending me to like jumping off the hill. 
Yeah. <laughs> or just someone just like, is he okay? Like, uh, that's the thing too. It's like, I don't want people thinking that I'm that kind of person. Like, oh, he, he's really depressed. Uh, he, he needs he needs some help. We need to talk. <laughs> like, oh my God. Like, I don't want yes. people to get the wrong idea. Just like, look, sometimes a sad song is nice to listen to. It Sometimes it's, it's yes. good to listen to. And yeah, it's good to be in your emotions. But like at the same time, it's like people are going to get the wrong idea of like, you listening to sad songs and just like i I don't want people thinking like that i agree one thousand percent it's all like you know it's like you know what it's like my dudes i'm i'm very empathetic so like you know i'm if i'm feeling sad or feeling the need to cry or something i will put on some sad music because it's deep and it's beautiful or even sometimes i listen to like sad music because it's just deep and beautiful like not necessarily because i'm sad i'm just like this song slaps like it's beautiful like look at it look at the this meaning song of the story is my life <laughs> yeah exactly but it doesn't necessarily mean i'm a sad person like i think i'm a very happy person but i'm very connected with my emotions so like mm-hmm. but i think i think that's what scares people i yeah. think that's what scares people other people a lot of people aren't very connected with their feelings so when they hear someone else present like say a song that's like mm-hmm. very deep they're automatically things like, oh my gosh, maybe you're sad. So let me just, are you okay? And it's just like, um, yes. I'm, it's like, don't worry. I already had my vibe check. I'm already fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm a happy potato. So we yeah. good. Yeah. That reminds me of uh, musicals. So a lot of people don't like uh, musicals because they mm-hmm. sound like people say, no, musicals are like for girls. Musicals are for like, you know. Old people, whatever, right? Yeah. And I, I love think, musicals. Yes, musicals are like my probably favorite ones at the moment are, uh, like my classic is obviously the opera, the Fashion of the Opera. And I'm just like, I love that music, right? But the movies, music. like, yeah, opera is music. Oh, you mean opera? Opera. Oprah. Opera. opera. It's opera. I think Oprah is. I was gonna say, is Oprah is the like the, <laughs> the person. So, I, was, I, was gonna, I was gonna say it was a joke. Oh yeah, I love Oprah too. She's great. <laughs> but I like I knew what you said, but I just like but in my head I'm like that's not how you say anything. But I knew what she's saying. <laughs> in my head, I said it correctly, but my mouth didn't say it correctly. Yeah, the, the English is a complicated. Like, why am I sounding weird at the moment? My sister's just like, Oprah? <laughs> Oprah? <laughs> Anyways. I love the musical Oprah. <laughs> yes, we love it. that. We love it, yeah. Actually, I actually haven't Oprah. seen that one yet. Oprah? No, <laughs> not Oprah. Well, I mean, I haven't seen her shows or anything, but uh, The Phantom of the Opera. And it was on Netflix for the longest time. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to watch it because, again, I love musicals. And mm. when I wanted to watch it, it wasn't there anymore. That was sad. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's called Burst or something like that. What? It's on Netflix also with, um, it's on Netflix with Christian, Christina. What's her last name? Christina Aguilera. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's on, uh, she did just, she's just this musical with Cher. Oh. And honestly, one of the best ones I've ever seen. Oh, really? What's it called? It's called Burst, 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 I think. Let me see, look it up. I'm going to look it up right now. <laughs> yes, please do recommend. She's on mm-hmm. my on my list. She's my like one. Of, it's one of my favorite musicals. And like my point of like musicals is that people don't like, they don't like watching it just because like oh they're musicals. At some point, right? No, like they're I think they're stuff. fun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can say for me, it's like I don't particularly hate musicals but nor do i like them i'm pretty neutral about it like i can understand mm-hmm. like how they sound and like that's totally fine so i pretty much get it and i know like there's some people nowadays like it's weird that i, I see it now like people say like sometimes listening to musicals are like very motivational or like how people concentrate when they're like doing studying or doing their homework or something 
So mm -hmm. like I can understand some people just it helps them concentrate, but also just helps them relax. So, but now yeah. just, but now I'm just trying to remember. I went I did went to go see like back then in middle school. I had to go with my sister to watch a musical of Romeo and Juliet, and people were just dancing, and I just saw the guys oh. with like the tight jeans, and obviously you could just <laughs> see you could just see sack. That's all I'm going to say. Just the word sack. I think you know what I mean when I say sack. I saw a whole lot. And honestly, I'm as, a kid like, at that no age, as, as a kid at that age, it was hilarious. <laughs> I am traumatized. <laughs> yeah, well, I wasn't too traumatized. I was like, oh. Well, okay. Oh, okay. He's packing. Mm. <laughs> I'm deceased. <laughs> I am too. I'm, I'm deceased. The only, okay, probably unpopular opinion, but the only musicals I probably don't like are High School Musical. <laughs> I was going to say, my favorite is High School Musical. Because <laughs> I, I grew up around that, too. Because, like, my sister, she was a huge fan of it. I I'll was, be like, right. okay with it. But I did, like, <laughs> it was, like, one of those movies that you would just see all the time on Disney Channel. Where it just pop in. Oh, because they'll be just yeah. like running, and the songs will be like stuck in my head. Like some of the songs just stuck into my head, not because I watch it, but because I keep hearing in the background so much of the time. And yes, my sister yeah. did buy. She literally did buy the soundtrack of it, so she had I'm the CD of the first one and the second one. And yeah, she will play them in the car. I think I remember I'm the songs dead. like "I'm Flying." <laughs> oh God! Oh God! <laughs> yeah, yeah, those were some memories. Yeah, no, I haven't, like, okay, I haven't really seen all of them. I've seen, like, clips yeah. of High School Musical, but I haven't fully seen it. But I don't, I just don't like it. I I don't. And I say it's an unpopular opinion because everyone tells me when I'm like, oh, yeah, I love musicals. They're like, yeah, High School Musical. And I'm just here, like. <laughs> like, that's not it. That's just, I feel like High School Musical is just like a modern, like a modern version of musicals. Because it, it just wow. gets in in the high school era. Cause that's where everybody was at so yeah course. so that's why everyone liked it because it it, it it was more of the it was more focused on the modern era not yeah. so focused on like what is a musical i mean sure there was like i don't i don't know nothing about musicals so i can't say my opinion on this but like that's how i see it it's just it's the modernization of it yeah oh you know what one great like recent one is um the greatest showman that one was mm. That one was popping, I tell you now. It was beautiful from beginning to end. <laughs> yeah. Well, as much as we can keep going on to musicals, uh, let's keep let's move on to our next question. And we kind of like little like someone mentioned it. So the next one I had is do you does any like or do you guys find it impossible to answer when someone else asks what your favorite blank is? And I, I know we, we mentioned a little bit, but I want to go more in details. As in, like, there are some people who say that instead of asking of, like, what is your favorite blank, you should just mm -hmm. ask what are what are some of your favorite. Because in reality, some people have, like, a bunch of favorites that pro probably don't think about. But, yeah, like, as we mentioned about music, some people just listen to a variety of songs as well. But yeah, do you guys find it like hard to answer that question? Because I feel like um I feel like some people ask that question, but not to have a conversation. It's just more like they just want to talk. And honestly, yeah. it's not it's not really it's not a really good conversation starter when some people are just mm -hmm. struggling to find out what is my favorite blank. Yeah, I I think it just depends like what the subject is, I guess. Because there's some things, if you ask me, like, say, oh, what's your favorite color? I have a set in stone, you know, answer. And I can be all like, oh, blue. like, my favorite color is blue, you know? Like, yeah. and, <laughs> and it's just, like, oh, it's just like, oh, cool. And it's just like, any specific blue? Then I'd be like, actually, no, any type of blue is like, I, Not I like blue, that color. Because I don't roll really like that. I'm deceased. <laughs> nice on me. <laughs> I'm deceased. Okay, yeah. And then, like, uh, but if they say, like, another topic, like, say, food, if you say, oh, what's your favorite food? I'm going to be like, honey, food is my life. So oh, I, I, I thought you said just honey. Like, I just like honey. That's my oh, favorite no. food. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, you know, like, yeah, no, yeah, that's, yeah. 
it's one of those I'm like I can tell you what the ones I don't like but mm -hmm. a favorite making shoes that's going that's a difficult task yeah that's complicated yeah I feel like yeah because like when we when we like when we really think about it like of the categories there's just so much content that we don't realize we have like there's just so many and like I was looking it up like seeing like how much of there's so much like there's at least 97 million songs out there there's like millions of books millions of games like tens of thousands of movies to watch there's like just so much and so like it's pretty hard to like like you know find which one is your favorite because there's just so much kind of con like there's so much content and like that's just the little bit of it there's like you know like you mentioned like there's food there's probably art i don't know there's just like so many categories so that's pretty hard to answer yeah. it's one of those things with salt like it just depends the subject depends what it is but i like your approach to it where it's like what are some like some of your favorites or like mm -hmm. or like do you have a favorite so and so if not then like what are some of the ones you do enjoy of like said blank or like so and so you know mm -hmm. I, I like that approach that approach is nice yeah oh actually i have to head off my dudes but it was nice chatting with all you guys you know, but this potato is going to slide out of here now. Right. Well, it was nice having you, Nadia, on, with us in the podcast. All right. Thanks, guys. I, I want to talk with you more, but yeah, you're kind of busy at the moment. So we'll see if yeah, we can have... find a better schedule for you. <laughs> but thanks, guys. It was nice chatting with all you and catching up. Yeah. Deuces. Bye. Deuces. So, America, what are your thoughts about this since, you know, <laughs> it's just us two now? <laughs> I have to answer. Huh? <laughs> um, I'm like, I have to answer. Yeah, you have to answer now. Like, <laughs> I can't be talking to myself like usual. <laughs> uh, honestly, it's a good approach, like she said. Because mm -hmm. when they asked me, like, when you asked, like, who's your favorite celebrity cross? I'm like, um. Yep. Let me just give you my top 10. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like, you. Well, it was funny because, like you said, you had top five. It, it was just funny, just that whole conversation. But yeah, that was something. It was difficult because at the moment, sometimes you're say you have your long time favorite song from a group, mm -hmm. but at the moment you're listening to a different type of music that you're trying to get into or music you already have listened to before, and you're listening to again. Um. And that's your favorite, also. So, it, it, it would be a good approach. Yeah, cause that's true. Yeah, cause like, I personally feel that way with a lot of things that I have, or like the things I like. It's just like there's nothing for me to narrow it down. What's my favorite? Like, like for instance, like like to answer like what is my favorite movie? For me, it's like I pretty much just watch a movie just to enjoy it. But, like, right after, I don't think about it anymore. Like, I just enjoyed it at the time, and I just move on with it. So, I don't really particularly remember movies that well. So, yeah, they don't, they're kind of, like, hit and miss for me. And I don't really, like, keep a list, of like, what kind of movies. And honestly, I don't really watch a lot of movies. I pretty much just watch shows, but, yeah. Like, I'm kind of like that, but I tend to have, like, yeah, this is a good movie. I'll watch it later, right? For me, like, if I watched a movie maybe ten years ago, I would rewatch it. Um, just because like I want to rewatch it, right? But um, I like I do have like favorites and stuff, but mostly like oh, I like it because the way it makes me feel, not because like the way it is or anything. Like the way it just yeah. feels. Like movies, I completely avoid, even though they say, "Oh, it's a good movie." You should watch it, right? Mm -hmm. I would complete, completely wa avoid movies that involve dogs. Um, <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> I, I, I understand I, that I, feeling immediately, yeah. Like, I have, I, I'm, a, I'm a dog mom. So, if yeah. I know there's maybe good parts about the movie that has a dog, okay. But I know something's going to be happening with the dogs that... Like, not be so happy? Nope. I won't watch it. Yeah. So I'm like, like hey, you, you got me soft. 
<laughs> did, did you ever watch Shiloh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that I'm one. Lo- that one got me. Like I remember we were just watching it, and then I think like, I think one of our friends he already watched it, but he was just like pretending like fake crying. He's like, <laughs> sad, right? <laughs> and like, you <laughs> jerk! I cannot believe you showed me this movie. <laughs> it's too emotional. Like Hachi. Hachi? That one. Hachi. Hi, uh, remember the dog that used to go to the train station to see his um Oh yes. Ma- yeah, that one too. Oh my god, that one. Made him a, a statue and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that one. I remember that one too. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. Another emotional like, roller coaster. It mean owner? I'm like Oh, because we're the masters of your dog the dog. Mm-hmm. I feel like every oh. dog movie is like that, honestly. Like at some yeah. point, you like you know you're gonna cry because they're gonna be like put they're gonna put the dog in a terrible situation, mm-hmm. and you know that's gonna make you cry. But like yeah. mm-hmm. about three movies recently came out a couple years. Like I think one called Alpha, it's about a wolf, and then another one with this guy that he I think it's a puppy and he skis. He he just ski his. Mm. There's something they call his sleds with dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the the little dog always wants to join him. Oh, and recently, yeah, uh-huh. uh huh. I forgot what it's called, but recently I saw that a trailer about uh, no a little clip. <laughs> I saw a clip about um he throws the dog across like a river where they are because he's stuck on ice with the rest of the dogs. And the dog. Like is like doing all his he can to save them, and they jump, but he slips and he st- he 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 falls on ice and he jumps. The dog like literally looks at him like you can, like you can. And I'm like no, no, I know he's gonna die. No, <laughs> like the dog, something's happening. It's gonna happen to the dog, and and he's gonna die. He's gonna get sick or like. Um, I forgot which one it's called. It recently came out also that it's a dog coming into a different dog, into a different dog, into a different dog, but the same family. Mm. And I'm just like, is he like reviving in like the same soul into a different body? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's, that was like a year ago, maybe. It, I, it sounds, yeah, because I think that was that was the one I was thinking about. Like, what's the most recent one? And it was something like that where a dog comes reincarnated or something like that. Something like same, that. Yeah, but it's the same dog that he had previously. And he's like, oh, I know it's him. And it's like, you you don't know that. <laughs> like, what? This is the most weirdest plot I've ever seen. <laughs> I know. And I'm just like, apparently he died. The same dog. Not the yeah. same dog, but yep, yeah, the same dog dies same a couple dog times. Lives, like his soul lives in that other dog, and I'm like, what? Yeah, <laughs> but the thing is, like, die. Mm-hmm. So I don't care what form you are in, but you're a dog and you're dying. Um, no, we're not doing that. Yeah, people, listen. It's called moving on. You need to do that. This guy did not do that in this movie. He did not move on. <laughs> the dog has to go to. Heaven for dogs, and he, <laughs> he so want to do that. Yeah, he's exactly. like, no, I got my he, down he's here. Gotta, he's got to go away, man. Like, he's he's over. He's gonna play with a new buddy now. You cannot be around anymore. No, actually, you know, when you mentioned about the clip thing about the dogs and sled, I think I did see a clip like that too on TikTok. But I think it was yeah. like a different scene where it's like, because I remember the actor. I think it was I think it was Willem Dafoe. And he was from- playing. He was trying to lock up this little husky into this big house, and he's like, "This is gonna be the shelter for it because it keeps escaping, following me with all the other dogs." And yeah, but yes. like, the husky somehow um, knew how to get get out. Like it called through yeah. like, some kind of pipe, and it was just there. Yeah. And he knew he was there. He's like, oh, "He's right there." <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. And I'm just like, "Oh, he's so cute!" And I hate when they start as a puppy because I'm like, "Oh, they're so adorable, and you're gonna get so attached to them." And then, like, they die towards the, the movie, and I'm like, I hate you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, come on, man. He just wants to be around. Let him learn. And if he gets hurt, well, then he knows he's not ready. <laughs> I don't know. I learned, I learned 
ever since I was younger, I did not watch uh, movies about dogs. Is that ever since I saw the movie Old Yeller? Mm. I don't know if you ever saw it. It was like a old, it's an old, very old movie. Mm, not really, but I've I've always heard that. Isn't there like a reference? I think everyone uses the same reference from Old Yeller, where they had to kill the dog at the end. Like, yeah, he because had to be changed the tree. He was, he got, he was saving, I think, one of the family members um, from coyote or something. And he got bit by the coyote and the coyote was rabid. Oh. And they, they had to kill him because he was rabid. And I was like, what? what? And at first they didn't want the dog. Um, <laughs> like, they got attached to him and stuff because he was, was a like, really oh, good I dog. I can't do it, Pa. I can't kill him. <laughs> I can't shoot him. Oh, seriously. <laughs> Go on, get, boy, get, get out of here. <laughs> um, like, ever since that movie, I learned do not watch movies involving dogs. And I did not have a dog at that moment. Mm-hmm. And now I have a dog. So I'm just like, nope. It's watch like, people what? die. It's okay. Dogs. Yeah, it's like, nope. whatever. Human died. It, ha- it happens. <laughs> dogs, it happens. I should yeah. never, dogs should never die. That's too painful. <laughs> I'm just saying no. Uh uh. (laughs) Like, no, no, no. No emotion. I do not want to cry. Walkie dog. Actually, since we're onto this subject already, um, what what would you say? What are some of your favorite movies, America? Uh, (laughs) Oh. Um. Or is or is that something like a hard question for you to answer? Like, geez, I don't know. That's, like, yeah, it's probably a difficult question. Just because, like, I a lot of people say just like the first movie that pops to their head, and they're like, I never even seen this movie. Mm-hmm. Or like <laughs> something that's relevant. Like, it's like, oh, well, I seen recently this. It's not my favorite, but I guess I should say it since everybody watched it. Yeah. No, I I think one of my favorites couple of my videos, it's like it's to think because all my movies are going to files in my head right now and see which ways do you like <laughs> and the one that pops in my head right now is The Fault in Our Stars oh just yeah. I relate to that movie a lot because the girl's sick and like all like in me and stuff and I relate a lot to it mm. but obviously it's a really sad movie so I'm just like, what are you trying to say right there? I'm mean, like, are you saying it's your favorite because you're sad and you're depressed? Is it your favorite because you relate to it? Or what are you trying to do? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's like one of them. But see, like, I can't just say I like one movie because I like a lot of movies. Mm, like you have a variety. Yes, because mostly it's like TV shows. Yeah, that I the same w- way. Yeah, that are like pretty old or like Friends or something, right? Mm-hmm. Those are like classic. But like, if it's like movie, because I'm trying to think. Yeah, because like when I really think about it, it's like I don't tend to watch movies. Like I go on Netflix, but like I don't go on my way to watch a movie. I just watch like. What's anime. Like a new show? Yeah, anime or something, something that's like that will obviously keep me invested. Because I feel like if I watch a movie, it's just gonna be an hour. I'm like, well, great, that was just an hour. But like, I just want to watch something that's could be long or time, not time consuming, but something that will keep me occupied to keep watching it. So See, yeah, that, I don't try I, to watch a lot of movies. I do. I watch a lot of movies, but like. I like watching movies because I'm like, what can I do in a couple hours? And what can I, like, say I'm folding clothes. Mm-hmm. Um, if I'm watching a show and it's during the end of the night and I'm watching a show and I'm watching I'm folding clothes, um, I'm gonna, even though I've seen the show like a hundred times, I'm gonna be like, I wanna watch it again. I wanna, like, go on another episode and another episode and another episode. But with the movie, I'm just like, okay, let me just finish the movie. Yeah. And I'm done. Right? Mm hmm. Or like dramas or animes or whatever. Yeah. Like, I feel like for me, it's like 
the reason why I watch a show is because, like, I got nothing to do the whole day. So what can I do to waste it all? Oh, I know. Watch a whole, like, brand new anime that I've ever seen. Watch all those 12 episodes or the first season and see how it goes. Because, <laughs> like, I feel like a movie is, like, I watch it. Like, okay, what else can I watch? And I spend the rest of the time just figuring out, uh, I don't want to watch this one. It sounds dumb. Or, like, oh, I don't want to watch. I get too picky about it. I'm too picky with movies. But, if, like, if someone asks me, like, like you want to watch a movie? I'm like, okay, sure, I'm down. Like, I don't care what I watch if somebody else suggested it. But I'm not usually if I, if I had to be my own choice, then it's kind of hard for me to really say, yeah, I'm down to watch this right now. Right, right. So no, yeah, I like Marvel movies. I'll be like, okay, let's, oh, let's yeah. I'll be like, let's, right when like DC or whatever. I'm like, okay, let's go. I'll pay for my cookie. Yeah, I feel like. Uh, my opinion on Marvel movies, generally, I feel like they're they're good movies, but I don't think they're my favorites. Like, because honestly, I feel like they always follow the same kind of formula. Like, they're very, like, visually entertaining to watch. They have, like, great fighting scenes. They have good actors on it. And most of the time, yeah, they have, like, funny bits. They have, like, like sometimes you just get a laugh at it because it'll be funny. But I feel like oh. there's not... But they feel like they're. It's always a, that's the always same formula Marvel has always done it. So yeah, I feel like none of them are like. There's nothing special. It's just a superhero movie. There's nothing special about them. Or there's well, nothing there's too deep. Like, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, because like, yeah, the action is always entertaining to watch. You know what? What just popped in my head is that one of my favorite movies mm. is. And Furious, the whole series of movies, like Fast and Furious. Oh, Fast and Furious! I thought you said Synthurious. I don't know why I thought. I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> yeah, Fast and Furious. Hmm. Aren't they already mm-hmm. like on their ninth or tenth movie now? Yeah, I think the ninth is coming out either this year or next year. Oh man! And I'm just like, mm-hmm. I'm not mad about. It. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not oh, mad. Cool. I'm like, why? It's uh, like, because a movie, like, they know what to bring. They're so good with action, plot, like plot and stuff. Uh, kind of all of them have a little small thing, right? Mm-hmm. But like, they're so entertaining that, like, wow. And then, like, for me personally, I love cars. So, when I'm oh, seeing see. my favorite car, the R- R32 Skyline, in my, in my movies, I'm good. I'm like, I don't mind not watching this movie. Mm. I'm going to guess that maybe your first movie was Tokyo Drift, right? Because that one's yeah. very focused. No? No. What was your first uh, of the series uh, the that you watched? One. I watched the first one. Which one? The first one. The first one was um was not Tokyo Drift. It was uh-huh. with Brian, and he comes to like he's a cop. Mm-hmm. He meets he meets Ta- he meets Dom and Letty and everybody else the right. first time. So that's the first one, and then the second one is yeah, Tokyo yeah. Drift. Ah, uh. but good. That one was really good. If he's like pop the hood, and he's like. So I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I never, I never really followed the series, but I, I did see Tokyo Drift one time, and yeah. So like, I, I, I kind of get it, but I'm just like, it's just about racing, which, nothing wrong yeah. with that. But like, I don't know. I don't particularly don't, like. Again, it's something I'm very neutral on. Like, I don't hate or like cars they're just okay with me i guess like i can say we'll your- have a passion to design them yeah hmm. but like yeah for, but like when i but when i hear fast and furious that's already on its 10th movie i'm kind of thinking you know when when will be the time they're gonna say you know maybe we should stop <laughs> because 10 movies like how does the story like keep going keep, like i just that's my question it's just like how are they able to keep making the story entertaining or at least character development 
like what what the i think is it the ninth or the tenth this game that is coming out mm -hmm. i'm just like because in one of the movies i think he was he was talking to dress i'm not sure one of them that um hans he dies apparently right uh-huh and he comes back and he dies again <laughs> i think Something like that, right he dies a couple times apparently and apparently they bring him back again in this movie um, but the girl no. that he was with, I, she died a couple movies back. I think it was, I'm not sure when, but she died a couple movies back. Um, and then he died, or he was gone, or something like that, but he's back on the movie that's coming out. And I'm just like, okay, that's gonna be a new plot right there. <laughs> that's just funny. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm seriously dying at the fact that they had a character. Who died? And I think he was in Tokyo Drift, Hans. I think because I do remember, I I think I feel like I remember his name, and I think I remember that that he died or something like that in that movie. But yeah, Breath but here the fact that he died, and then he came back, yeah. and then he just only only just to die again, and just like, come on, man, you can't you can't do that to a character. You can't just use him as dead meat. That's just messed I, up. When they killed him and Hans, like when they killed Hans in the. Tokyo Drift, I'm like, oh, no. He was a really good driver and a character, a really mm -hmm. good character, right? They bring him back, I think, on the 7th or 8th. Oh, and wow. I'm just, Right? And he's come, this they time. come back. Like, when they call everybody else, right? They call everybody else and they call him. They're like, blah, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Or something like that. And I'm just like over here like, oh, he's back again. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, oh, he's back. Okay. I mean, to me, that smells a little bit, in my opinion, like desperation. Like, all right, we got to make a twist. What do we got? Like, we we'll bring back somebody who died. Like, that's perfect. <laughs> it's like, fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I, and I see, like, I, there's a huge, like, fan base of this. There's like, oh, like, yeah. Yeah, people love, like, Faz and Veers. And, like, I get it. It's just, like, it's just cars, but, like, you know, if you like it, that's cool. I'm just saying, in my right. opinion, that's just freaking weird. <laughs> like, I love those movies. They're like, I grew up growing up. I grew up watching these movies, like 60, 60 seconds um, or something like that. Um, uh -huh. Also, a movie. and it's with um, Angeline Jolie. And mm. this is when she's very, very young. She was super young, right? And I, I grew up watching this that movie, and I'm just like, I was in love with her because she was, she was like, oh my god, this is, I'm just like, this is a bad girl, and she's racing, and she knows about cars and everything, and I was just like in love, like this girl is everything right there, and I grew up, she is everything. <laughs> <laughs> she's my role model. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, she's amazing. Yeah. Well, that's very interesting. Yeah, but like, as I mentioned for me, like, movies are kind of just like, like, just to enjoy in that moment and then move on with it and that's it. But if I do have to say, like, what is my favorite, it's kind of like, I want to say vague to people, but I don't think many people know since, well, there's a lot of movies out there. But like, I think the reason why I like this movie in particular it's because of how memorable it is. And that movie is, uh, I don't know if you've seen it, Medica. It's called The Adventures of Tintin. It's like a kind of a cartoon movie of some sorts. Oh, the Adventures of Tintin. It sounds Is it about like a robot? No, it's about this, it's about this boy detective. Oh. I, yeah, some kind of kid detective in this movie. And he's pretty known in his town for being the detective around and one day he just finds this uh and some kind of market shop outside and uh finds finds a this miniature boat that's on sale and he buys it because he's something caught his eye about it and then eventually some mysterious guy comes up to him and he tries to buy it off of him but he refuses and then from there he deducts that there's something suspicious about this boat and inside he found out like when some people try to ransack the place he found a little map that was hidden inside and in, in containing it had like a like, secret hidden treasure that was long lost long ago by some pirates. 
And like it gets you know, more deeper into that story. But it's like it's like I would say it's kinda of like an Indiana Jones movie, but more of a cartoon, more like yeah, more cartoony character funny like movie. And to me like, have, uh, Yeah. The Goonies. I guess so. It's kinda of like that, but not similar. It it was just more uh-huh. like that, just discovering the secrets and stuff. But I don't know, for that movie that that's always stuck to my mind because of how like the characters were and how animated it was and it was pretty it was pretty a good movie. I haven't seen it like that Ar- long. Yeah. Huh? Like Arnold. Arnold? The guy like that kid that had a head shaped like a football. I don't know if you ever saw that movie. That show. That cartoon. Oh, Arnold yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Yeah. It's kinda of, it's kinda of like that, the design of the characters. Yeah. Yeah, it's similar like that. But I don't know. Like, sh- I can't say how much I remember this movie or how much detail because I haven't seen it in a long time. But it's like I remember the name so well because how simple sound it is and like, yeah, somehow like the characters in it were just they just stuck to me re- very easily. That's why I can remember it so well. Do you think if you ever saw it again, you would be it will still be your favorite? I think so. I think I would still enjoy it very well. I don't know. For me, it's hard to say like what's a favorite or like what's something to me sticks. But I think it's most things like if it's if it does enough well to help me remember like visually and how the characters look and how the story is, then yeah, I think I think in in some way it becomes my favorite. Yeah, because like I have horrible memory, and if I ever remember parts of the movie and characters and stuff, then it was memorable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Because if like if you can't remember anything about it, you can't say it's your favorite. Because like it's like oh yeah, what do you remember this part? And you're just like, uh, uh, uh-huh. uh sure. Like he <laughs> saves them, of of course. I, I think. <laughs> say oh, you think? <laughs> this guy's a faker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I think he says. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sus. You're not a true Fast and Furious fan when you don't know what who Shobbs is. <laughs> yeah, like you sus sus. Hmm. Yeah, but like when it comes to favorites of a lo- lot of categories, it's always hard for me to really to like say what's my favorite. Like I know we mentioned about songs. Like you know, there's always something new that's always being replaced, so it's kind of hard to keep a list. Like I already have a list of songs in my playlist, but I can't say they're my favorites. But it's just like this is what particularly what I listen to. Uh huh. And I think one category for me, it's kind of hard to answer is like video games because i'm pretty much like i (laughs) i don't know why this is weird for me to say but like i was like yeah i'm a gamer bro like i game and so no one really like no one really plays that many games or like they only play games that the majority know like maybe like oh i don't know like call of duty or like mario kart or smash brothers you know those kind of games that the majority people play so like for me it's like yeah, the, like mostly it's multiplayer games that people will say is their favorite, or like those are the ones that people know, like what you're talking about. But for right. me, I play like a lot of single player games where there's more to those kind of games where it's more story driven or like there's really intense or really great, amazing gameplay. And so, like, if I say one of those games, it's kind of be vague and then have to explain what's it about and tell yeah. the story of it. And it's just like, it's like, yeah, I just. I'll just say the majority of people like, which is, I'll just say, like, maybe Smash Brothers. Like, it's not my favorite, but it's something to help the person know, like, that's my favorite. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, I, I, if I play, see, I used to play a lot, but I don't play anymore just because I don't want time. I don't have life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But most of the time that I would play, play I would play online, um, my Xbox, and I probably would just play. What was the games I used to play? I used to play Apex. Um, oh, really? hmm. I used to play uh, Gears of War. Uh, mm. That was my favorite. Like, I know, like, a lot of people don't like to play Gore. Yeah. And, like, the plot and stuff. I love it. I like the story mode. I loved it. I loved the story mode. And, um, what else? Halo? I never got into Halo. I don't know why. 
I, I played a couple times, and I'm just like, I'm more into like story modes. And I'm like, if it's about, it has a story, a good plot, I'll play it. I'm just yeah. like, suck up. I have to learn, and it takes me a while to learn. And I've had, if I haven't played it in a long time, and a lot of things has, and the game has a lot of updates, I'm like, I don't know if I, if I don't want to, if I want to play again, because like, some people will be like, "Oh, you suck and stuff." I'm like, I haven't played in a year, okay? Like, oh yeah, this this me- this weapon. Oh yeah, it sucks now. They nerfed it. Now it does less damage. And I'm like, what? Oh, I love this gun. I know. I'm just like, you know, what? just like, I'm walking away. I'll just watch a movie or something. <laughs> yeah honestly i somehow feel relatable to this because too because like like i would say like when quarantine happened of course like the mindset of somebody like that is like oh great i have more time to play games and stuff and as uh-huh. much as i did enjoy playing so much it did get to a point like i don't like playing as much anymore you get like, bored yeah you get bored of it and like as much as i try to grind myself to just like you know play to get top rank or at least you know and with to get into the big leagues and and like an online gaming it's just like it's just so much work out honestly i feel like i wasn't enjoying it i feel like i was more like i'm working on this game and when you make it a, like not a job i would say but when you put yourself in that mindset like it's something you have to keep working and grinding on it becomes less fun it's not what it used to be when you first started yeah like it, it was the same for me because like I used to be like, I'll play to relieve some stress. Mm. Um, like to be thinking about something else instead, like instead of thinking about like what I have to do and stuff, you know? Yeah. But I, I was like, like I used to play and I would feel stressed out and I used to play a lot and I'm like, you know what? I'm not really interested in it anymore. And I will try to look for different games. And I'm like, mm, no, it's anymore. It's okay, you know? Like Lara Croft, mm-hmm. the game. It, it was pretty good. It was pretty. Good. It had a good story plot, but you have to be really immersed into it to understand it, right? Yeah. And I like that, but I'm just like, I don't have time to keep thinking. What would Lara Croft do? Yeah. Oh, you mean Tomb Raider? <laughs> to, yeah. to choose people, kill some people off. Yeah. To it's that stress, kill some aliens, right? Mm-hmm. And I. Good, but I learned like I used to like I wanted I want to do that right I want to release some stress but I I started playing so much that I'm just like I already know or, the story you just want to play a game that you know I could just relax and not try too hard because I feel like that's what it is it's like yeah I, f- I feel the same way with Smash Brothers because like in the it has online and like there's a thing that they have like like the more wins you get the more higher rank you are and you got to keep that status and as much as I like doing it I just feel like I just want to relax and play a game. Like, I feel like playing Smash Bros. was just like, I feel like I have to be so concentrated all the time and I'm just too tired or just like, I don't feel like giving it my all. I just rather just chill, but I can't in this kind of game. Like, um, Among Us? Oh, um, yeah. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, right now. And I used to play Among Us before it got famous. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh wow. And I had like friends. We were like, we'll have like a little game night, and we'll be on Zoom, and we'll be playing it, right? And people start talking about it, and other people got more. More people got talk about it. More people got talk about it, and everybody started talking about it. And it's not that like it's not an interesting game anymore, and I really do like it. It's just like. So what I year did you play the powerful. game? Huh? What year did you play the game? This year, but it got oh. famous this year. Oh, I see. Well, it's I think, just okay. Because, like, when you said it that, I thought you played it like when it first came out. Because actually, this game it came out three years ago. Yeah, this... my my those my friends used to play them. Like, it came out when it came out. They used to play, and I'm just like, cool, yeah. right? It was a cool game, and I'm like, oh, let me just get hang the hang of it. Right, it was pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. But then, like. More start talking about it more people start talking about it and i'm just like yeah like yeah. in this year it started getting attention because like yeah. i don't because like this this is like the hard truth is that some games that like, they don't get this like to see the day of light where you know someone per- like develop it made all these things but sometimes you don't get that kind of attention and this game among us it was made years ago no one has heard about it i never heard of it 
And then somehow in this year, people are starting to somehow found this game, and now it's become supremely popular now. Like, it's everywhere. Even, like, the characters and stuff. Like, people make animations of it. It's crazy. So... I'm just like... Yeah. It was I, not famous weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it was that famous because I don't think at the time people were like... I don't know. I don't think it's the kind of game people back then, I would say, at that time would want to play, I guess. Because I think now the reason people are playing is because, yeah, quarantine. We're not seeing people. And this is literally, like, a way of to communicate with uh, like with more people and somehow yeah it has brought more people to make new friends and have another big social circle so i think that's why this game got so much attention for it because we're in quarantine and because people are just not they don't don't see anybody and just like i also like a lot of famous people start playing it Mm -hmm. like play it right let me just do this right and i'm just like yeah there's Thing. <laughs> leave us one thing well i think we've pretty much reached our time right now so i uh, believe so yes i think we've made over an hour and i know usually we do like a final segment but i think for today since we're pretty much short on people at this moment i don't think we're gonna do a final segment we'll save it for the next episode but yeah this has been a good episode so far um, any last words you'd like to say, America, while we sign off? Um, don't forget the chicken. <laughs> don't forget your chicken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, people have chickens as a pet, and then oh. they have <laughs> something else, and I'm like, don't forget the chicken. <laughs> yeah, I just imagine someone's cooking chicken and just listening to the podcast. I'm like, oh, shoot, you're right. I was cooking. I forgot. And it's all burnt on one side. Like, no. They're listening to the podcast. And they're like, what's that smell? It's like, hey, man, <laughs> it's, it's okay. We got it. We we know. We know. We've been there. Yeah. But the frijoles, too. Oof. It's a bummer. And yeah, well, my final last words will say is don't forget to buy some discount Halloween candy. It's that time. It's November 1st. And already they're rolling out the discounts. Like I just went. Like I said I went to go Walgreens. And I also went to go buy like candy too. They had 50% off on all their candy. And they had so much. They had so much candy. And I was like trying to figure out what I was going to get. I was going to get one with like Kit Kats and Reese's. But they had one with Kit Kats and Reese's. And like oh, other stuff like Jolly Ranchers. Whoppers and Twizzlers. I'm like. Getting that one. And a lot, that was like $10. I'm like 210 candy on it. <laughs> a lot of people didn't go out. So that's a lot A lot of leftovers. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, I'm going to be digesting this very slowly because, yeah, I don't have that sweet kind of tooth. But it's good to have candy around. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it for the podcast. Be sure to... I don't know, give a like here on the YouTube or wherever else you're listening to this at. And uh, yeah, um, hopefully you get to see everybody else next time when they're available. <laughs> so yeah, we're signing out and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Take care. Love y'all. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.